Hey YouTube, I put together another short video on how to create a ghost blog on DigitalOcean. And we're going to run it in a Docker container. Also, we're going to use the Cloudflare plugin to install our Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. So let's get started. I created a companion blog post so you can get all the commands there and just copy them in. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you don't already have one, go ahead and create a Cloudflare account and you'll find the link on the blog post. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and create a droplet on DigitalOcean. And then once we've got that up and running, we're going to go ahead and add a couple of repositories and update all the packages. So these commands are really simple and you can just copy them out of the blog post. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed up a lot of this so you don't have to watch it. And I always like to just sync the disk and then reboot. Okay, now we're back. And the next step is to install uh, packages we need. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, the Cloudflare Python plugin there at the uh, end of that command. The next thing we're going to do is generate dhparams file. And now let's go ahead and create some things we need for the Cloudflare INI file that we're going to reference when we get that Lux Encrypt certificate. Now when you open up this file, I'm just going to put in the uh, an example here. You'll need to put in your email address and your Cloudflare API key, which you can reference in the dashboard of Cloudflare down on the lower right side as of the time of this recording. I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, Cloudflare INI file with my credentials. And let's uh, Let's restrict access to the secrets directory and restrict access to the file itself. Okay, next thing to do is we're going to create the nginx comp file. And again, you're going to have to change the name of this file to reflect your domain name. Now, if you need a domain, just go over to name cheap. I'll leave a link there on the uh, in the description, which is an affiliate link and it does help support this channel. And I'd appreciate it if you'd use it. I've gotten domain names for 88 cents just, you know, just to use as testing doing development. Most of the time it costs about eight or nine bucks. So go ahead and copy this into that file. 
and also remember to change the domain name to match yours. And by the way, when you do the uh, proxy pass, you definitely want to reference the local host. Use that address. So I'm just going to do a substitute command here in the VI editor. I'm calling mine scary scary dash ghost. So it makes four substitutions. Then I just remove the com comment to clean the file up a little bit. Okay, the next thing we want to do is link that file to sites enabled and again remember to change the name to your domain your domain name Now we're going to go ahead and get our Cloudflare, I'm sorry, we're going to get our Let's Encrypt certificate using the Cloudflare plugin. Let me make that bigger so you can see it a little bit better. So again, remember, change that to the correct domain name. I'm just copying it out of the blog post. And it's going to pull the credentials out of that cloud, Cloudflare INI file that's in my directory, my home directory. And that's where I put in my real email. You can ask, add some switches to that command uh, so it doesn't even ask you. And there it goes. Now you have that cer certificate, and that's where it's saved, and that's the name of it, which is also in your Nginx comp file. Now let's go ahead and just test Nginx to make sure everything's okay, and reload Nginx. I always like to check the status before I continue. So we're active and running. The next thing we're going to do is create a persistent volume for our ghost blog. And that's for the Docker command. So go ahead and pull ghost. And I sped this up a little bit. It doesn't take too long, maybe about 30 seconds. And now go ahead and create the container. 
Again, make sure you change the name of the container. And the URL that Ghost uses. That Ghost uses. Okay, now the container is running. And there it is right there. Use a Docker space PS to see what's running. You can see it's running on the local host 2368, which is where we pre uh, proxy pass. Now, what you're going to see here is a little bit of troubleshooting because I forgot to add the uh, uncomplicated firewall rule. But I still, I thought it was worth showing you the troubleshooting steps. Greatly speed it up, of course. I didn't want to waste your time with it. Like you can see, like, I'm trying to figure out, well, what's going on here? Why is this not working? Anyway, finally, I look at the firewall rules and realize I forgot to add the rule. So I go just UFW space allow space HTTPS. So now when I try it again, everything is fine. Anyway, that's what I that's a little, you know, hopefully that helps somebody just watching me troubleshoot it. And I'll make sure I update the blog post to reflect that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, I do hope this helps somebody. And uh, I'll leave links for everything in the description below.